And of course, we'll be following up on that story and hoping that more Kenyans will get employment. Now, moving on, the Budget and Appropriations Committee, through its chairperson, Dindi Nyoro, has given an overview of the budget that will be tabled in Parliament once the committee finalizes on Tuesday. Jasmine Murani reports. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much. The proposed budget for the fiscal year 2023-2024 is a 3.599 trillion budget. So where will the money come from? Where we are getting the money, number one is in ordinary revenue. We project to have what we call ordinary revenue, that is all manner of taxes, to a tune of 2.57 trillion Kenya shillings. And these are to the nearest. We are also expecting to have what we call appropriations in aid, which is the money collected by government agencies or NDS and spent at source. So that will be around 322 billion Kenya shillings. We also anticipate to have 42 billion Kenya shillings in grants. These are the monies we expect our friends to accommodate us uh, in, on, on, the expenditure si uh, on, the, on the revenue side. If you do the math there, then you'll see approximately 680 or thereabout. These are approximate figures which is left as deficit. But just how will the 3.599 trillion shillings be spent? 1.5 trillion Kenya shillings is going into recurrent of the national government. Around 700 billion uh, or thereabout, approximate figures again, is going to development. It's actually precisely 728 billion Kenya shillings. It is going to development projects. We have around 986 billion, nine, close to a trillion, going to, call, to what we call consolidated fund services. CFS takes care of payments of interest rates of the debt that we've already uh, in our books. It also goes into payments of pensions and also capacitating our commissions to operate. Around the same now, we have 385 billion Kenya shillings, which we are sending to counties, up from 370 billion last year. Education will take the lion's share of the budget in the 23-24 fiscal year. Education is taking up 27% of our budget. And this is around 604 billion Kenya shillings. The funds will be directed towards the capitation of junior secondary schools, the hiring of teachers, and the restructuring of tertiary education. Infrastructure will be the second largest recipient at 400 billion shillings. The committee says no new road projects will be undertaken with focus directed towards the completion of ongoing projects. We have allocated more money than has ever been allocated into roads. As you know, we have commitments for roads, which are already signed. Just imagine, contracts already signed of 900 billion Kenya shillings. That's close to a trillion. Mm -hmm. We have tried to rationalize the same, and we have come to just around 600 billion. So what we are doing is that we have seen over-reliance on the usual exchequer. Exchequer usually allocates 60 billion to that road sector. As for agriculture... We have put in money for fertilizer subsidy, as I said before. We have put in 4.5 billion because we, the money is appropriated in the supplementary budget. That money is still being absorbed. We have also uh, exempted the uh, tax on the inputs, on the production of agricultural inputs. To tackle the issue of misappropriation of funds, the committee says it has devised a solution. So what we've done basically is to change the format. Instead of, instead of drawing money into programs, then we are drawing or appropriating money that can be traced across the entire value. The committee says the public participation is conducted on a rotational basis where 16 counties are selected each year. The final budget will be read on 15th of June by the Treasury Cabinet Secretary after being tabled in Parliament. Jasmine Murani for KTN News.
All right, thank you very much, Jasmine. Now moving on to modern agriculture. Now with the ongoing rains across.